else head uh, if you check the diagram it has uh, is being designed using a what's it called of a bits and which is a size one bit size one these are what we call size one bits that is the smallest size so i'm not size two nor is it size three now i'm going to explain it to you using both bits and um what's it called the wire the brass wire now this video is going to be divided into session the first session is um the printout how to get the printout number two how to trace it okay on your board you can use carbon paper you can use sorry you can use a cardboard paper here yeah? cardboard paper or you take any thick paper to draw it out first okay um then from the drawing you cut you cut it out if you don't want to draw it fine so that you don't have issue Okay, that one is another extra journey. Okay, I just want to use this diagram for you guys. But I can try to, from this, I'll transfer it to a material that we're going to use for this. Okay. Let me use, for instance, this. Okay, this one. How will I transfer it to my material? To this place. So, that is why we need this. And I will use the printout or we'll use this one. Now, should in case you don't know how to draw like i said how do we get diagrams how do we source for diagrams number one you go online i source for this online please this is not my job this is not my work because i'm seeing some comments under the uh, this is i posted on facebook this lion head it's not my diagram it's for my boss okay although i collected permission i collected permission so okay now how do we source for the how do i source for this um from online you can get it from online or can also to get an artist that can draw very well like i for example i'm trying even though i'm not that perfect but at least i can draw now look at my own look at the diagram after drawing it out okay i'm going to beat how will i beat i'm trying sorry trying to the material first before i beat now one thing was known is the size the length for example now if i'm to try if i want to put, put my what's it called draw lion's head here okay because you see that is the issue most of us are having the size how to draw smaller or uh, this thing uh, uh this in diagrams on our cap now see i'll repeat myself again even though i've repeated i repeated the same question answer in the class now when i printed this out i told the the, the, the attendant at the server cafe told him, I said, see, I want a bigger size because I'm going to use one for clothes and also to a smaller size. I've forgotten the font, so but I also want to use this to explain. I told him, I said, print it out in the large font. Then print, print the other one in the smaller font. Something like, let me say, 9 or 10. Okay. Or, uh, I I I've got to where I kept. Wait, I was, I'll look for it anyway. Now, if I want to put uh, design, put uh, this in what's it called? Draw lion head on this. This for a child. I'm actually making this for a child. Now, I will need something a smaller font. Okay, print out uh, lion's head. Now, from here to here is two inches. From here to here is two inches. It means that my diagram must not be more than one and a half, not two, because if it's two, it's going to start from here to this place. Do you understand? So let it be either one and a half, so that it will stop like something like here. That it will commence here and stop here. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Now, one and a half, just tell them it should not be more than one and a half. So let's be around maybe like six, uh, this thing, the font to be around, um, let me say seven. Okay? I'm just guessing anyway. Now, away from that. So, how do we draw? That's the first video. Our first thing, how do we draw? First of all, let me measure the materials we're going to use. Print out, print out, then your border, that you use cardboard or this thing. Then, Two colors, actually it's two color size one bit. This is size one. The smallest size, please. The smallest size of uh sand bead or seed bead, whatever you call it. Okay, uh fabric, uh buffet or any material you're using. Now, this is very important. This is what we call uh tracing paper. This one is actually used by the architect. Architect, the architect they usually make use of it. Or you use carbon paper, carbon paper, the one the secretary they use. Now, if you check very well, I actually need to trace this one that is here. It's used for tracing. Look at it, look at the lion's head. 
Look at the lion's head. I believe you can see it clearly. Look at the lion's head. Okay, look at the lion's head. What I did was to place it on it, place the, the carbon on the, the, the paper on the board, then I place my print out and I trace. Use, please don't use biro like I did here because it's not show out very well. I would advise you to use either 2B or HB pencil, okay, that you trace. Now, I would advise you to use this carbon paper, those ones they use in the secretary office, the black one, because it will come out very well. It will come out very well. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It will come out very well. The diagram by the time you finish tracing. Remember we did art now, creative art in uh, secondary school. Or primary school. You use uh, secondary school rather. They use carbon paper for tracing. So, trace it. It will, Every part you trace it, it will come out very well. After tracing, which will lead us to our next, thing, uh, next stage, is cutting. How am I going to cut? Okay, welcome back. Now, see what I'm trying to do. Sorry. See what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to piece it in a way that when I want to draw, I want to use it on a fabric. I'm going to piece it in a way that it will be easier for you. But for me, I can decide to draw it that way. It will be easier.